good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a really warm welcome here to Juice Court, where you've been invited by Tracy and Matt to join with them in the celebration of their marriage. joins our two lives in one unbroken circle. All that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds, I will love and support you for as long as we both shall live. I, Tracy Westall, take the Matthew Paul Staley to be my wedded husband. I'd like to welcome you all to Juicel Court this afternoon to celebrate this very happy occasion the marriage of our daughter Tracy to Matthew. I hope you all agree today has been a very special day. And every wedding is special, of course. But to see your daughter getting married is something else. Tracy, our walk down the aisle today is a memory I'll never forget. You look absolutely beautiful in your stunning wedding dress. You are the perfect bride. And I'm a very proud father. Over the next few minutes, also, we will be giving you a bit of insight into Staley's life, <laughs> which I think he's dreading <laughs> quite a bit. I did have a different version of the speech prepared today, but I've unfortunately had to leave out some of the more inappropriate stories as I still need my bathroom finishing. <laughs> it's been nearly six months now, mate. You're taking the piss. During our school days, we both did paper rounds at the same post office. We would both be the first ones there and the last ones to leave, after spending hours chatting and spending our wages on line bars. <laughs> One day, a teenage Staley decided to have a look through the top shelf magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for him, his mum happened to walk in the door at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> he struggled to explain that one. <laughs> Looking back now, I imagine I'd be a lot more successful <laughs> if I hadn't met Staley. <laughs> <laughs> so true as well. <laughs> um, that being said, I don't think I'd have gotten through my school years without him. His extroverted personality would force me out of my comfort zone, enabling me to find my own confidence. So Staley, if you ever think I'm annoying or irritating, just remember, you did this. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to thank you for being here today. In such uncertain times, we are thrilled 
to have so many of our family and friends here to celebrate with us. I'd also like to thank the bridesmaids, all 11 of them. <laughs> Han V, Han C, Amy, Jade, Leanne, Luz, Rach, Aisha, Tina, Jay, Anna. I'm sure you'll all agree, they look absolutely stunning today. Adam and Jake. <laughs> Thank you for taking the role of being my best men. There is honestly no one else I could have standing by my side today. I am truly grateful for everything you guys have done for me over the years. <laughs> Tracy, where do I begin? I cannot put into words how much I love you and how truly happy I am that I can finally call you my wife. Writing this part of the speech was easy because I just switched off my brain, which was easy to do, and let my heart do the talking. Words cannot describe how beautiful you look today. Just knowing I'm sharing the rest of my life with you makes me feel like I've already succeeded in life. I feel so lucky I've found a wife that is both beautiful inside and out, kind to everyone she meets, and has a sense of humour that can brighten my day. I don't always make the right decisions in life. <laughs> One thing is for sure, I know, is marrying you is the best decision I've ever made. We have come a long way together and taught each other so much along the way. No relationship is easy and there will always be challenges waiting for us. However, I can honestly say in confidence, as long as we have each other, we can overcome anything. You are my rock and I love you with all my heart. Thank you for giving me purpose. Oh, yeah.